Good day, everybody. Welcome back. This is Blackheart6. We're going to go ahead and start another video here. Um, we left off uh, with the prerequisites, uh, added those to our world. And now we're going to continue on to the section two, uh, which is basics. Um, so in it's a, a scenario frameworks hierarchical. So you must have certain layers in the correct order for things to work. All right. Now, the, the first thing we're going to talk about in basics is game mode manager settings. So let's go to our world. I've left it open. Uh, so game mode SF, um, this is your game mode manager, basically. And what they're talking about here is all these components over here. So we're going to flip back over here, and it says that the core entity of each scenario is the game mode entity. In this case, it's game mode SF. All right, and it, it's got a lot of components to it. And so if you look at it, as you can see, quite a few here. Um, so this is these are the components to the game mode. And then these right here that they're talking about, these are attributes to each component. So as you click on them, they change, okay? So what we want to do is go to, first of all, we're going to go to game mode SF manager and you can see here in the wiki they talk about the the attributes tasks debug despawn or dynamic despawn correction dynamic spawn despawn and then uh, that's pretty much it so these four or three attributes so let's go back over to here and you can see, of course, there's unsorted. It's always there. It's enabled. Uh, so that's why there's only three in there. So what they're talking about here is in the tasks, you have a set of tasks available types. So you click on that. And you add what tasks you want. So and this is for combat ops. So if we in this example we use deliver task deliver which is basically the intel task and we say we want a max number of tasks to be three okay it will give us three deliver tasks all right and then if you add another task so let's let's add destroy defend and this is really to set up automation for uh, combat ops. So kill. Oh. Okay, so we're going to set up these five. So what we told it is max number of tasks of it's going to randomly select three out of these five tasks every time you start your scenario. And that's what that does, okay? Um, debug, uh, the debug section is used if you want to isolate an area or a task or something. You can see it says core areas. So what you do is you put in here, and we would put down once we, we'll demonstrate this as we get in because we don't even have anything down yet. Um, but basically you put down your area and then inside the area, uh, you can force an area, a layer, and a slot on the tasks. So and it helps you uh, with the debugging. Okay, so that's that. There's also a new set of debug tools. So I don't want to get into that. Okay, dynamic despawn or dynamic spawn despawn. What dynamic despawn does? If you enable this. Okay, and then this update rate is how, how long it takes to update, how many seconds it takes to update the dynamic despawn. What this does is this puts a, like a trigger on your area so that when you enter and leave the area, it spawns and despawns the AI or any entities that are in that area under the hierarchy. So this is helps with performance. It also limits your budget. So, you know, if you're trying to limit the number of AI you've got, you use dynamic spawn and despawn, and it will you know, keep those numbers down. Okay, and that's what those three tools do right there. Um, so there is, you can go in and add things like, 
time manager. So if you wanted to add a component called time and weather, um, you go in and you, you do a search for time and weather and it comes up and then you can modify and set up your time and weather. And that's, that's what they're talking about, uh, adding components uh, to, uh, adding components to the game mode setup. You do it like that. Okay, so we just covered those those three items. Um, uh, real quick, there is one thing I want you to to change. Uh, do I really talk about it here? No, because we haven't gotten to that point yet when we add slots and stuff, and we'll, we'll probably be coming back to this. Um, there's some things in here you have to edit uh, and change to make things function correctly, and when I get to that point, we'll come back and review it. So that's it for this video. Um, that covers that section, and we'll uh, make a new playlist uh, called Basics. Uh, or, yeah, Basics, and then we'll go from there. Thank you very much.